My name is Mary Nell Spence and you are watching Off the Shelf. Off the Shelf explores the process and the product of successful independent filmmakers. Our guest today has completed no less than three feature films. His fourth film, The Lesson Plan, has created a buzz at every major film festival where it, it was presented, including the short corner at the highly prestigious Cannes Film Festival. Eddie Duran, welcome to Off the Shelf. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. So the film that we're dealing with today, The Lesson Plan, mm -hmm. a big part of that film is the Willie Lynch letter. Yes. So mm -hmm. tell us about the Willie Lynch letter and how it became the seedling for your film. Uh, the Willie Lynch letter allegedly is a letter that was written by a British slave owner back in 1712. And it's just specific instructions on how to keep and maintain your slaves. Without further ado, let's watch your film, The Lesson Plan. Cool. Just like a big dumb Well, come on then. I got for a dumb like you There's no crime. for a beat down right now. Well, come with it then. Ain't looking fat. Does anyone know what this month represents? Troy. My hand wasn't up. So, answer it in. I don't know. Cause my ear. Yeah? Damn, why you always picking on me for? Got all these other assholes in the sky. Pick on some of them. Uh, Troy, why are you chewing gum in my class? You know the rules. No disrespect. I don't think your rules is fair, though. Fair? Since when you become an advocate for fairness? You know, Troy, every morning, I drive around for 20 minutes looking for a parking. In the back of the school, there's always an empty parking. And it reads, Principal Lynch. And every morning, this man is standing in front of the parking, like he's protecting it, like, like he's its parent. The man doesn't even drive, Troy. I've had to come to terms with the fact that if I wanted a parking, I would have to become a principal. And I'm okay with that. Here's my point. I'm gonna let you chew your gum, but you're gonna have to teach the class. <laughs> what a paradox, huh? So come on, teach your class. should carry one of these. Everything I do in this school is in vain. 
It's like throwing pearls to pigs. You know, this should be part of the curriculum. Hey, Troy, you know what the answer is? It's Black History Month, Troy. That's what it is. Yo, why are you doing this, Mr. Dunn? Because you must learn! You know what? You don't look so tough anymore. Why is that? Huh? Speak, n****! You know, we subjected to your obnoxious mouth day in and day out. You know, your silence fascinates me, man. Cause I don't know if you scared shitless or you trying to calculate your next move. Huh? Am I quick enough? I wouldn't even put it past you. Cause you stupid like that. I bet you can't even fight. Troy, close your eyes. Troy, close your mother in eyes. They were constantly looking for the first signs of the dreaded retribution. They watched, therefore, with skilled and practiced eyes and learned to read with great accuracy the state of mind and heart of the slave through his sable face. Open your eyes. Open your fucking eyes. Are you gonna teach the class? Teach them what? I don't know. Of course you don't know. Cause you mentally weak. But all that shit is gonna change right now cause you gonna teach them something. So begin. Mr. Dunn, I can't. I can't, I can't. You worthless mule. Why don't you try? Did your father teach you anything? Or well, let me guess, he wasn't around. How about your mother? What'd she teach you? How to be a fucking coward? But she fed the shit out of you though. Physically fit, but mentally weak. You better start teaching them something. I don't give a fuck what it is. Tell you what, I'ma help you out. Uh, teach them how to fight. Huh? You do know how to fight, don't you? Huh? Teach them how to be a big dumb <laughs> Teach them that. I mean, you told Selena you don't beat her ass. Or, or how you eloquently put it, use common sense and avoid injury, bitch. I heard that. Huh? Fight me. Fight me, Troy. You know you want to. Here's your chance. Become that phenomenon. Come on. Reshift the nature of things. Huh? Or sacrifice yourself for the greater good of the black man. Huh, you big dumb Stop. You don't have to do this, Mr. Dunn. I know what you're doing, and there's no need for it. Right on f***ing cue. Didn't he just say he's gonna slap the shit out of you? Now you gonna come and save him? Huh? Big black woman. Coming to save weak-ass black man. F***ing horse, the mule. Huh? That. It's not real, Mr. Dunn. It's not real. There is no letter. Says who? There is a letter. It's all around you. He did exist. And he was a f***ing genius. But is that the point? Huh? There's no real proof of that, Mr. Dunn. Proof? The f***ing proof is sitting right here. Right in front of Huh? Look around! How about this? Look inside! And it ain't 
going away on its own. You either fucking change it or you live with it. Seems like most of you made up your minds. Or your minds was made up for you. You've embraced it. You wallow in it. You fucking embodied it. Some of you use it as a term of fucking endearment. you a name and you f***ing kept it. F***ed up. And that's where it all started. And it manifested into what we got here today. A big, dumb, na- What up, y'all? Just throw away the lyricist. It's been a while since we last spoke. Just trying to stay relevant. Just trying to do my thing. Uh. 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 See if I remember how to do this. Mike wow, that is a powerful powerful film. Thank you. So what advice would you have to up and coming <clears throat> filmmakers? Um, it's, it's, it's the cliche-ish advice, um, never give up, um, follow your dreams, but be smart. It's very important for you to be smart in this business. Um, study film. Mean? Well, it means study film, mm -hmm. but also depending on what it is that you want to do. If you want to be a Hollywood filmmaker, then study Hollywood films. Thank you so much Thank for you being here Thank you very much. Thank Absolutely. you very much for inviting me. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat? Or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load. Or does it explode? That was, of course, the work of American poet Langston Hughes, titled A Dream Deferred. My name is Mary Nell Spence. Thank you for watching Off the Shelf. <laughs>